Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about how to get Dexpot and RainMeter working together so that you can have different RainMeter themes on different desktops. Quick example of this is me going to different windows and you see I have different RainMeter settings. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to download is Dexpot and RainMeter. Obviously, you should already have those downloaded. And there are going to be two plugins that you need, one for RainMeter and one for Dexpot. The RainMeter plugin, I believe they now have, um, when you download like 2.1 or something, I think it's already there. But if not, you know, go to your local disk, program files, RainMeter plugins, you want virtual desktops.dll. Um, I'll put links in where you can download that. So once you have that in, and in Dexpot, some plugins you have rain decks here and I'll also have a link so you can download that as well now you've got the two plugins and you're like oh cool I'm ready to go well not really it's kind of a pain in the ass the next thing you're going to want to do go to your computer users your user that you're on and you want to go to the app data folder and you see I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of transparent folder that means it's a hidden folder and you, so you're going to want to <coughs> show hidden folders if you don't already have that option enabled and to do this hold down alt for about four maybe five seconds and when you let go you get this little menu up here click tools folder options view and let's see hidden files and folders it should be like this if you can't see it you show hidden folders and apply and then it'll be there app data so you go app data roaming rain meter and you need these two files, VDM and VDM config. And you have to create these yourself. In VDM, you want to say exactly what this is. And I'll have this in the description as well. It basically just points to your Dexplot location. So you might not have the times 86, whatever. It's whatever your location path is for Dexplot.exe. Okay. So after you have that, you want this VDM config file. And there's two ways of making it. You can make it this way, or you can do your Dexpot um, settings from the toolbar, plugins, Raindexer. Oh, Raindexer needs to be checked. You need to make sure that plugin is actually on and configure. And it'll create it for you. And here is how you make everything on different things. So let's go over some of the syntax that this has. Um, you have the open bracket and then a name or a location to the widget that you want. So let's find one. Let's find this one. This one is, if I right click on it, it's dark rain meter time date. And I have it right here dark meter time date. And I need V desktop equals one, meaning it's only going to show up on one. You can do V, comma, or one, comma, three, and then it'll be on desktops one and three. And, you know, you kind of get the point of that. Um, if you want them to show on every desktop, you don't need to put this in here. But if you only want your widget on a certain desktop, you have to specify it in this file. And after you have this set up how you want, you save it and you exit out of Dexpot and RainMeter. Then open up Dexpot first and then RainMeter after it. And it should work. When you do it the first time, I'll give you a quick example. Exit um, RainMeter and then open it up. It's going to look kind of messed up. But that's normal. So I'm going to open it. It's going to take a while to load. Understanding doing this takes everything a while to load. But once it's up and running, it's good to go. And you're going to be a happy camper. But I'm going to get basically all my widgets on one page. And it's going to look like shit. And you can fix that just by going through your desktops one by one. And it'll put them all in the right place and make them look good. But see right now, it's like, holy shit. Everything's all over the place. So I just switch, and that one's fine. That one's fine now, and now that one's fine. And you got it working, and that's basically the gist of that. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Thank you.